What is a little known warning from nature that can save your life? Oh. I can answer this. If you're hiking and suddenly smell something very musky, almost reminiscent of a faint country manure, keep your peeping eyes open. I was hiking on the Appalachian Trail today, up in Maryland. The wind shifted and the smell changed to something like I described above. Caught me off guard, but I kept hiking. About a quarter mile later, I turned around and began to head to my car since I was already 6 miles into a 2. 5 mile hike. Right around where the smell changed, I heard a sudden crashing sound and saw a black bear just peeping busting its way away from the trail into the woods. I had walked past it and then came back upon it when I turned around. TL. Doctor, if you're hiking and the ambient scent changes suddenly, you're probably close to an animal. Stinky MFS. If the animals get foe, you should too. Same thing if the birds and woodland critters suddenly fall silent. There's something scary in the woods, and it's probably not you. If you are at swimming at the beach or a coastal inlet, and see an unusually calm area of water, get away from it, it could be a riptide. On that note, if you get stuck in a rip, don't swim against it, you will tire and drown. Swim parallel to the coast till you swim out of the rip. Weirdly if you just float in a rip it will pull you quite far out to sea, push you sideways, but then also bring you back in on the surf. This takes nerves of steel obviously but it works. People die from exhaustion in a rip more than anything. I got in the famous one at Bondi Beach by accident as a teenager and it really is terrifying to experience fighting against it. I heard about the trick above after that experience. If you happen upon a moose and aren't intending to be that close hunters, regardless of the season, you should leave immediately. Moose are not your friends. You'll have a window of opportunity to leave. Take it. The cows will straight up murder you. Especially if she has calves, and the bulls might take down half a forest to murder you. Thanks for the wholesome award and all the replies. More people die in moose encounters than bear. Moose don't see that well, and don't like you. Plus they are way bigger than you think they are. Grew up around Anchorage. In the summer we could tell there was moose nearby, because literal clouds of mosquitoes follow them. While I'm here stay off the ash sled beaches in Alaska. That muck seems solid one step, but can liquefy the next. If a tornado looks like it's not moving, chances are that it is either coming right at you, or it's moving away from you. Always assume it's coming towards you, and seek shelter right away. Also, unlike in the movies, tornadoes don't follow the road. Don't expect it to suddenly turn. Squirrels will sometimes watch you from a distance while making alarm calls. The sound varies by species, but it's generally a sort of squawking bark. If you hear them barking, and they aren't yelling at you, then there may be something else around they think is a predator. It's worth paying attention. Yup. Lol I feed the squirrels and they yell about dogs, cats, people, hawks. I've even been warned by my little guy. He ran up to me, and panicked then ran up a tree. And continued to yell at me, until I got into my tree the car. There was a neighbor walking his two dogs. Lol. Your own senses. If you feel like something is wrong, there is a good chance it is. In your peripheral you may have seen something, or gotten a vibe from someone, that made your hair stand. Don't just dismiss the feeling. Our subconscious is very attuned to hostile body language in people capable of violence. People should read the gift of fear. To relearn to trust our instincts. If an animal is brightly colored and or distinctly patterned, and easy to see, that's a warning not to mess with it. So poke it a few times. Got it. If a tree is hot to touch get the peep out. I don't know if this is common in other countries, but here in Australia we have what's called widowmakers. Basically eucalypt trees are extremely flammable and it's possible for the tree to be on fire internally, but not visible on the outside, and can literally explode at any given moment. So, spiders, snakes, sharks, and exploding trees, you'll need to chill tf out down under. 
if a bee keeps headbutting you and annoying you. Alter course. They are warning you that you're getting too close to the nest. Bro B. If there are tall clouds nearby and you get a metallic taste or hear any buzzing, feel static Y. Lightning it about to hit pretty much exactly where you are. I once had a surprise lightning storm form behind a mountain and then move in on us kayaking across a bay. We went to shore immediately, spread out and crouched in lightning drill for maybe 15 minutes which feels like eons when you're crouched like that with your feet together. At one point, while timing the flash to thunder, I thought sick, the lightning is moving away from us. Then I heard a soft buzzing slowly getting louder. There was literally nowhere better to be, so I just stayed crouched with dread growing as the buzz got louder. Then an old plane came out of the cloud. Hence the buzzing. So much relief. Also f peep that plane. Most animals don't smile. If you see teeth or an open mouth, it's usually a warning or sign of aggression. Use this advice with our next relatives. Apes. They don't smile. They show stress. Fear or aggressiveness undefined. Surprise the flash flood sign hasn't been posted yet. If you're walking near water and if turns dirty and dirty with debris in it, get to high ground. Also, if it's winter and or there is a mountain and the water starts to drop get the hell out and to higher ground. If you see multiple dead fish in a body of water where people don't fish, don't go in the water. It likely has high bacteria or is polluted. I mean, multiple dead animals is probably not a good thing in general. During stormy weather in the Midwest, if the sky turns greenish and the pressure bottoms out, it's time to head for the basement. In the southeast it's usually an ominous orange color. The whole world turns a warm sepia and the sky turns a sickly orange. You can smell storms in the air before they happen. Storms, rain, etc. Midwesterner here. On a gorgeous summer day, if you see really tall, white cumulonimbus clouds forming, there is a really big storm coming in the next few horse and possibly a tornado. The taller the cloud, the worse the storm will be. So if the size slash height of a cloud seems massive, head for the basement. Of you see waves come in to shore with a square pattern, or if the tide recedes very fast, evacuate a sap. It means a tsunami is coming. You might have had a small seizure and didn't know it. Anyone can have a seizure. What makes someone like me an epileptic is having a low threshold. But I wasn't born with epilepsy. It just came into my life at 27 and nobody could tell me why. But way before I became epileptic. I actually had a few clues here and there. I bring this up because I've seen others on Reddit describe these events and ask what it was. And seizures are on the rise. And there are different kinds of seizures. Someone could easily just have one throughout their entire life. Indicators you are having a small seizure include. Suddenly forgetting what you are saying halfway through a sentence. Suddenly just forgetting how to speak or understand for a few seconds. Suddenly hearing loud ringing in your ears for no reason at all. Like an acquired room. Heart suddenly racing for a few seconds. I will have all of these symptoms at once. And they are called absence seizures. Or petit mals. The first time it happened. I called the advice nurse and she just laughed at me. Telling me to stop drinking coffee. The list goes on. 10 years after that first event, nothing happened again, until I started waking up on the floor, or feeling exhausted throughout the day. I was having seizures in my sleep, and didn't know it. Then one day I woke up in the hospital, and was a full-blown epileptic. Undefined. Thank you for sharing this. If you are in a canyon, slot or otherwise, and you see clouds anywhere in the sky GTFO, it could be raining miles away and cause a flash flood in less than 10 minutes as water rushes through the canyon. Get to higher ground. Also if you are white water rafting or doing any sort of river trip, if you fall out of your boat, float downstream feet first. Hitting your head can kill you. In a survival situation, remember the rules of 3. You can survive 3 minutes without oxygen. 
3 hours without shelter in a harsh environment, 3 days without water, and 3 weeks without food. Prioritize. Undefined. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video.